Hello students, welcome to this video. This video I'm going to showcase the Pearson um, My Lab, My IT Lab component. This is the Microsoft Excel module. This is worth 60% of your grade and there's a total of um, 20 small little um, activities or um, assignments that you do within this module. So you go into uh, Pearson My, My Lab uh, there is uh, a link for that in the Microsoft Excel module. So you're going to sign, you're going to register as a student unless you have already registered if you've taken, um, if you're using Pearson um, Lab in other courses. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to show you a few things here. First of all, in Blackboard, in the um, Excel, Microsoft Excel module, you'll have the course name will it be 23839 or that's the id code and then the course name business 1210cz so that is the information you need it's located it's just in the microsoft excel module so that's what you're going to do to register in the course you've got to find that course you got to add that course um, once you do we can go right in here and we are going to go into, I want to show you a couple things in here. If you go into Grades, Custom View, I believe this is the Student View. Let's make sure that's, just, yep, that's the Student View. So here is the list of activities. I've completed them all. And look at my grade. I'm so smart. So happy. So uh, there's nine chapters in um, Excel that we're going to cover. One through seven. Uh, we don't do chapter 8, and then we do 9, and not chapter 10, and we do 11. There's three different types of activities that we do in this course, or in this Excel module. They're all listed here, in order from the uh, of the chapters. So you can um, go in here, custom grades, custom view, to basically know the order of your grades. It also shows up here as the assignment calendar, but I would recommend going into grades, custom view, and basically working your way through this list of 20 activities. As I said, there's three different types of activities or assessments that we do. I'm going to show you all of them. So for each chapter, there's two uh, um, different types of activities, except for chapters two and chapter four. Chapters two and chapter four have a simulation exam. You can see that there. You can see that there. So I'm going to explain those three things. First of all, the trainings. We click on that. We can start the assignment. You can do the trainings as many times as you want. It's basically a step-by-step -step, uh, guide in, in doing, learning things about Excel. So as it opens, and you can do this um, from anywhere. You don't have to go into VMware. My connection is good. Look at this. It's loading up perfectly. So the trainings are simulation practices. The, the uh, simulation will ask you to do a few things within Excel. Um, you successfully accomplish them. You on, you then move on to the next task. Um, I've seen anywhere from 12 tasks to about 22 tasks within each type of uh, chapter uh, simulation training. These trainings are worth 2% each. Uh, so there's nine of them. So 18% of your uh, grade will be based on completing these, these trainings. So this is loading. There it is. It has loaded. Now the look of this training may be different depending on the size of your monitor. The, there's Here's the Excel spreadsheet. So you don't need Excel on your computer. This is a simulation. It's going to have the instructions on the right, or I've seen them down in the bottom. Basically, it depends on the size of the monitor. So there's 22 down in the right corner here. Bottom right corner basically says how many questions or tasks we have. So the first thing we do, it's always bolded, uh, the things that we need to do. Everything in blue is basically what we type in. So type souvenir program in cell A8. We type this in. 
just as it has spelt, capital letters as needed, and cell A8, Souvenir Program, and you notice now it's gone to the second part of this question. Type Soundtrack CD in cell A9. Let's just do this. Soundtrack CD, and then press Enter. And then it basically fills out a few other things. And then it goes on to the third task for your the first um, question. So the one of the key things in the training is that if you get stuck on something, you just don't know what to do, um, you can reset it. There's a reset here. But more importantly, there is a learning aid. My learning aid is showing up in the bottom right corner. I'm going to click on this. There's something that it will actually read the instructions to you. You can watch a video of everything that's the, the, the task that you're struggling with, or what I prefer is the practice. Press Control Home. You can hear that voice. Basically, select cell A1, and so we're going to go Control Home. Where's Home? Control Home. On the Goes Review tab there. in the Proofing Group, click Spelling. Basically, go here and basically shows you what to do for the steps. In the spelling dialog box, change, click OK, and then it will go back and have you do the same thing that it just showed you. Now you can see here that there's five attempts remaining. So what if I go over here and I press something wrong? Incomplete action, there's four attempts. Basically, if I keep on doing something wrong, I get five attempts per question. In the training, basically after your last attempt, it will then reset. It will actually do, um, it'll show you what to do. Then it'll give you five more attempts to do it. There we go. It's going to show Press us. Control we home. don't want to listen to that. And that's how we can accomplish that. You can skip ahead to the uh, different tasks. Let's move this out of the way. That's really annoying. And we can skip ahead. If you don't accomplish one of the tasks, it eventually it'll come back. And then we can save for later. So I'm just going to save this for later. It'll pick off from where you left off. So that is the simulation trainings. I'm going to show you the capstone. Capstone assignments is the second type of activity here we have. These capstone assignments are worth 4% each. Uh, so click on that, click start assignment. You have two attempts to do these capstone assignments. And I'll give you some more information in another video about um, some of the benefits uh, um, of doing these capstone projects and how to make sure that you get uh, the best grade possible. So we're going to start this assignment. Um, I've already done it once, so it's basically telling me this is the second time, the last time I can do this assignment. And then it's going to ask me to, or tell me, it never asks me, it just says something to do. It's going to eventually load. And I feel sometimes I need elevator music for this. There it is, slowly coming. There's uh, four steps. So we're going to download the material. Just press download. Download all the files. It's downloading. It'll go to your download folder. I think it's done. It's there. It's done. Um, and then in our download folder, let's find that, we will have, for the capstones, you'll always get a Word document for the instructions and an Excel spreadsheet for the actual um, project, for the actual activity. So if we click on the instructions, it's a Word document, enable editing, and there's a series, this one's a little bigger than the rest, there's a series of 26. Um, different activities or different steps we have to do. So basically the first one is just start Excel and basically you follow along with these steps building creating that Excel file that you've downloaded adding to it it's basically 
um, telling you exactly what to do in each of these steps. You can save for later if you find that you know something's happening you want to stop. Just make sure that you've noted off what you have done. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we don't need that anymore. And then once you are done, you go to choose file, you go and upload that file. It's going to then give you, you upload that file, you um, press submit, and then or you submit for grading, and then it'll give you, within a really short time period, 20, 30 seconds kind of thing, it will grade your assignment for you. So that is how we do the um, capstones. Well, I'm going to take a minute here to go back to our grade book. And in chapter two, there is, and in chapter four, there is a simulation exam. What I would recommend is you do the simulation exam right after the simulation training for that chapter. Um, I think you get one attempt. So I think they've already done it. Um, oh, you get two attempts. It's going to be identical, almost identical. They might change some of the words, but the processes are going to be the same um, for based on the on the uh, simulation training for that chapter. So after you do chapter two simulation, do chapter two exam. After you do chapter four simulation, do chapter four exam. There's two exams based on one on chapter two, one on chapter four. Um, it looks identical to the simulation. You get five attempts, but there is no learning aids. Um, so, as you're doing the simulation, if there's anything that causes you grief or you just don't know how to do things, it's get, some of this gets a little more complicated, take notes. And when you come to that same question, re refer back to your notes um, and, and, and you'll be able to you know, know how to, what to do for that. So this is chapter two. There's ten little d d different... Um, questions here. Some of them have two or three tasks in each. Uh, but basically this is the simulation. You um, are not able to save for later. So we after, you know, make sure you do have, you know, half an hour, an hour, whatever you need. There's no time limit. Uh, have that time available to do the simulation exams. So I'm going to do something that you shouldn't do. I'm just going to close this off. Don't do that. Um, the simulations and the exams are marked really quickly. The capstones may take a little extra, and you're going to get your grade posted down here. Work through this. I would recommend working through this in this order. So that's how we do the um, simulation, uh, the Excel training. One thing, and I'll mention this uh, in an email, when you're doing the capstones, you'll notice that you are downloading a file. You can download it as many times as you want. You can only upload it twice for grading. Do not share. If you download it, do not share it with someone else. Um, because this, the uh, Pearson Lab knows where it downloaded from. It knows that if it's, you know, Bob's file, Bob's access to the Pearson uh, lab, it somehow has Bob's name throughout the uh, Excel project. So you can't share it even, af even after you just download it. Um, and definitely, of course, don't do all the work and send it to someone else and have them upload it. Um, they will get a big fat zero on this. Um, so make sure you download it yourself. Go ahead and work with other people as you're as you're working on this. It's always great to have someone bounce you know bounce off bounce ideas off and help you understand some of the uh, the questions that uh, the trainings or the capstones kind of uh, ask you to do. So that's a quick recap or precap of um, Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft Excel uh, module.